have uh, right. slides, but I will tell you all more. <laughs> I took notes. So great. Um, Thanks, Taryn. I, yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Hi, everyone. I'm Taryn Almendares. My pronouns are she, her, and I am actually newly the lead of our Drupal, Drupal diversity and inclusion initiative in the Drupal space. Uh, just some history in case y'all did not know. Uh, it began in 2016 when Nikki Stevens and Karen Castillo gave a presentation about diversity and inclusion at DrupalCon New Orleans. Um, after that, there was a boff and there was so much energy around the space that we started up a whole initiative and it is a project that is available on drupal.org. Um, if you would like to learn more information about us, I'm going to post a link and I will also slow down a bit because I'm speaking very nervously and quickly. Um, but our current initiatives that we have going on at this time are Drupal diversity and inclusion presentations. We will go around and do presentations at different camps um, to speak on different issues of diver diversity, inclusion, and equity. Um, we also have a resource library. Uh, we have a contrib team that's helping people you know, go through the steps of doing contrib work. Uh, for the Drupal project. We also have the DDI Careers Initiative, Session Help, and a Speaker Initiative. So if there's a way that you want to contribute to Drupal and you're a person that is underrepresented or that has been previously marginalized, we are here to help you navigate uh, those spaces in the ways that are unique to you. Um, some previous cool things that we've done is that we had done DrupalCon Nashville planning. So we had a board game night, pronoun stickers. Um, we organized BOFs, which are birds of a feather sessions at DrupalCon Baltimore, Nashville. And we also ran a We Are Drupal photo booth. I, I think that was actually my first DrupalCon in Baltimore where I saw that and that was pretty neat. Um, and we do organizer packets. So that's a resource for organizers to help them organize and support diverse and inclusive events. Uh, for our upcoming events and upcoming cool things, we are having our first camp. So it'll be the Drupal Diversity and Inclusion Camp. It'll be June 11th through 12th. I'm gonna share this link in the chat. And to prepare for that, we'll also have a speaker training camp in May. We're still determining the dates on that. But we meet every Thursday at 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then 4 p.m. UTC. Uh, we discuss our current work, the state of diversity and inclusion in the world and in the community, and any other upcoming events that we have. So we would love for y'all to come and join us. It's asynchronous. So if you can make it at the exact time, that's fine. If you can't make it until later on in the day or even the next day, uh, we would love to have you there. So. That's all I've got. Thank you so much. Thanks, Taryn. And thanks for all the links um, and the little bit of history. Outstanding. Next up, moving along, um, we have the community working group. That's me. <laughs> Hi, oh. thank you. My name is Jordana Fung. I am part of the community, Drupal community working group. Our mission is um, to foster a friendly and welcoming community within the Drupal project. Um, some great, one of the few differences, uh, one of the big differences that happened is um, the community working group has split up into the conflict resolution and code of conduct enforcement team, which I am part of, and the community health and development team, which a, a ton of awesome people are a part of that are scattered about in here as well. Um, we decided to split that up because as the conflict resolution and the code of Con conduct enforcement, we weren't able to do some of the amazing things and focus as much as we wanted to on things that are more proactive, such as workshops that we've done um, and community health blog posts, which the awesome community health team is doing an amazing job at. So a few of the things we're, and one of our favorite things to do is the Aaron Winborn Award whose winner we will be announcing um, in the, I think around the Dries note uh, next week. So, and the Aaron Winborn Award is uh, an award that is given to a community member who goes above and beyond. Um, and it's an amazing thing. And we have an amazing, it's an amazing group of people uh, who we um, consider as past winners. Thank you. I'm gonna add some links in here in one go. So, you have some of those. Um, 
you can find more about us in digital.org slash community um, and slash CWG is um, or for um, the community working group is especially. Uh, we do see code of conduct trainings as well. It's um, something that we are very much, um, we think is an amazing thing to do and for camp organizers to invest in. It's code of conduct enforcement. Um, the Drupal event, we work closely with the Drupal event organizers working group as well. Yes, clean, thank you. So that, that's an amazing part of it. Um, how you can help is to go into our issue queues. So that's drupal.org slash project slash issues slash Drupal underscore CWG. It's in the chat. I'm so sorry for that long uh, link. And one of the amazing things we've been working on is um, nudges. So sometimes, um, actually just go in there and find it and you can ask me about it in the Q&A as well. Um, but thank you so much for everything and uh, please feel free to come up to us and ask us questions if there's anything you would like to know. Thank you. Thanks, Jordana. Uh, again, just a reminder for if, if people joined, um, we are just giving a brief overview and then we're gonna break out into Q&A so you can go and learn more and hear about these great things. And I will say also, I took the code of conduct training and it's outstanding. So highly encourage uh, people to take that. It's, it's a really great thing. Um, next up, we're gonna learn about mentorship from Ellie Ludvigsen. Take it away, Ellie. Hi there. We have too many screens and too many tabs and I'm assuming most people can relate. Um, <clears throat> Hello, I'm Ellie, uh, also known as EKL1773 on Drupal.org, Twitter, and pretty much everywhere. Um, 1773 is just my name on a calculator. Ellie, upside down, backwards. Um, I have been working with Drupal since around 2013, 2014. I was introduced by the community through uh, to the community through another open source community, um, Code for America, by uh, Jesse Beach way back in the day. And she said, hey, you should come join this group. And there's a really nifty um, group of mentors who will onboard you to Drupal and help you learn um, more about Drupal, but also just more about PHP, which I was trying to learn at the time. Fun, very fun. Um, so I started joining the IRC sessions where there were indeed a bunch of really awesome, very patient mentors who helped me get set up with local development, who helped me understand the issue queue and who just introduced me to the community. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing with Drupal since is um, that mentor role and helping others get started. So at this point, um, uh, core contribution mentoring sort of started by XJM back in 2012. And we had those office hours and um, it was so popular that it became sort of the core part of DrupalCon. And so every year we get together now on Slack and do a lot of organizing, put together booth slides and contribution workshops and um, whatever else may need to be done for the event. And in the last year, that's transitioned obviously to virtual. And I have to give a lot of props to Amy June and Chris Dark for uh, just tons of work making that workshop fantastic and in little video segments. Um, a lot of work and I'm very, very grateful because I'm not a video editor or whatever. So teamwork, fantastic. Um, let's see, what else did I wanna say? I had notes. Right, so at this point we are looking for mentors for next week and we need all sorts of folks. Rachel, you are a great um, little cheering section back there, thank you. Um, we need all sorts of folks. So not just people who know how to code, um, but we also need marketers, we need project managers, we need um, designers and just whatever your skill set is, there is definitely a way that you can help as a mentor. Um, so uh, I'm hoping that everybody has had a chance to look at the schedule for next week. It is oriented more around initiatives than usual. So there's a, a day for each initiative and on each initiative day, there will be a contribution time in the afternoon. Um, and we're hoping to have a few mentors for each of those initiatives in the afternoon. Um, let me drop you some links. So we've got uh, the Slack space on Drupal Slack is um, pound mentoring. And if you pop into there, I'm going to 
leave these links available for everybody. I'll pin them to the channel. But the first thing that a mentor would need to do is to sign up to Open Social. That's going to be here. DrupalContributions.OpenSocial.Site. Um, so we'll all be doing contributions in that space. And if you sign up there, create an account, then you can join different groups, which is basically a table if you're familiar with the in-person um, operations. Um, yes. And we'll have a mentor orientation event for um, mentors later in the week on Friday. And um, yeah, I think I should probably stop talking at this point. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. So just come join the mentoring group on Drupal Slack. And uh, thank you. You were not rambling, it was great. Uh, I think we can have a further conversation here shortly in the Q&A. So thanks for all the information. Thanks for the links. Um, we're going to move on to hear about the event organizers working group, and that is Colleen Clarkson. So Colleen, if you're on, I'll take it away. Let us know what you need. Cool. Do I have a uh, sharing ability? Ooh, I do. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Is this, I'm going to go with this one. All right, everybody. Um, thank you all so much. I feel like I am overprepared. I thought I was supposed to do slides for this. But uh, anyway, I, I didn't get too crazy. But um, again, my name is Colleen Clarkson. Thank you all for being here. Um, the Drupal Event Organizers Working Group, hopefully you've heard about us, you've seen about us. If you don't know, now you know. Um, my name is, again, Colleen. I'm the CEO of Blimmy Inc. We help companies go remote. Um, but what is the event organizers working group? We're just a bunch of event organizers, plain and simple. If you organize an event, if you organize a meetup, any type of thing, whether it's in person, a training, um, any type of thing at all, if you do any of those things, please come join our, our meetings. They are open to the public and we do them every month. So yeah, um, our mission, we wanna support the Drupal, commun Drupal community led events, grow the Drupal community, um, you know, we're hoping that like, you know, we can establish this, this, our vision is really to just have this worldwide network of event organizers. You know, there's so many great events that happen throughout the year. Um, you know, it's, it, we're fi we finally have uh, a body that we can all share ideas with and, and get, um, you know, some, some, some different, um, opportunities to participate with some other camps and stuff like that. So, um, that's our vision, right? Um, our current current board members, we, we finally got in um, our members in, in September of, of 2020. And I am so blessed to be a part of this group with all these awesome people. Um, I, the amount of time that they have committed to this group has been exceptional. And you'll notice a lot of, you know, uh, recognizable names there and some not recognizable, maybe they haven't heard, but we really I uh, tried to, to get as many people around the globe as possible so that this wasn't a, um, a North American centric type um, committee. So thank you all so much. Um, you all have contributed so much work. It's been a really great pleasure. We also have some advisory board members, you know, some people that come to our leadership meetings and just provide us advice who, who necessarily, you know, they don't necessarily have a vote on, on what we are doing as far as uh, uh, voting into, uh, um, you know, into official stuff, but like they provide a lot, a lot of great insight. Um, Nico has been great. Rachel, thank you. And, and John Picozzi have been at pretty much every single board meeting um, and have given us so, so much um, great insight. There. So again, thank you to all the people who have been rocking it out. So what we've been working on um, since, since basically or September, I'm sorry, September of, of 20, we all decided, look, we got to get to work now. Let's, let's come up with, let's focus on some things that this working group um, can, can really work on in 2021 going into 2022. And we kind of narrowed it down to these three uh, different, different initiatives. Um, the first one is uh, onboarding at community events. You know, I'm really noticing this, we're all kind of noticing this change, right? Like of, of we're all getting, older every day, I'm starting to see those 
Drupal.org profile names get real long in the tooth. I think I've seen some 18s and 19s probably even here. Um, so onboarding at, at, at Drupal events is really important. And what this initiative, um, their, their purpose is kind of to grow, um, to kind of provide a, a consistent um, welcoming and inclusive message for all Drupal camps. We're envisioning a slide deck that we can, that Drupal camps can download or Drupal events, um, getting started with Drupal type of things so that we have like this kind of consistent message. Um, so, you know, they want to build a light curriculum, maybe set up a network of trainers. Um, and then we really want to pilot this, this curriculum at, um, you know, three events this year. And actually one has already happened at mid camp. So we're, we're, we're already on our way to piloting three. The second initiative is the Drupal events platform, formerly known as the Drupal events starter kit. Um, the idea here is, you know, if, if you plan these events, you know how laborious the website is. Um, especially when you're talking about collecting calls for proposals, putting the schedule together. Um, we used to use this thing called <clears throat> COD. I'll um, just do that real quick, but um, we're looking to kind of uh, build something new that's very flexible. Um, looking to have kind of an MVP of, 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 of features that 80% of the Drupal community could, could use. Um, let's see, we wanna kind of, like our goal of ours would be to maintain adoption by at least 40% of all Drupal events. I mean, if we can get a lot of people participating and, and helping out with this, it can really cut down the work that it takes to kind of put these uh, websites together. So that's initiative two. And initiative three, last but not least, is the Drupal events database. Um, the purpose of this uh, database is to make sure that all of the events are all in one place. We have Drupal Cal, it's lovely. It looks beautiful. And this actually, this database is actually feeding into Drupal Cal. So we're trying to move a little away from, you know, the groups.drupal.org posting each event there and kind of having a main, main, main space for this. Um, some of the goals in, for this initiative um, are to kind of, let's see, we got highlight some of the events, maybe on, I don't want to ruin that one. That's a surprise. Um, propose some of the layout changes, maybe um, of, of the homepage communicate the information about new events on, on, on Drupal.org and uh, other sections as well. So those are our three kind of major initiatives that we're kind of moving forward with. Uh, we're looking for volunteers to participate on all of these initiatives. We have initiative leads and we'll send, send out the link in the notes. So what can you do to get involved? Get your event featured on Drupal.org. We can't stress this enough. Next week, um, at DrupalCon, there's gonna be something cool. We need as many events on here as possible. So do you run a meetup? Yes, I do. Go ahead and put it on. Do you run a Drupal camp? Yes, I do. Go ahead and put it on. So go to this website, drupal.org, community events, and start adding your events on to the website. How can you get involved? There's multiple ways. Again, you don't have to be an organizer specifically. You could be a part of an organizing team. You could be interested in doing events. Um, go to the drupal.org community slash event organizers. That's our page. We have a monthly Zoom call every month where you can see us like this. I love seeing all the people's faces. Uh, we also have the um, event organizers Slack, which is a Slack group outside of the, the big Drupal um, community Slack. And we also have our email newsletter and you can get involved in the issue queue. I think I got it done in seven minutes. So um, I believe in the chat, I didn't mean to, to chat. I'm not gonna say, I didn't mean to send my chat earlier. I thought I could hit shift and enter and it wouldn't enter, but it did. So here you go, here are all the links. <laughs> uh, so thank you all, appreciate it. Thanks. And again, in the Q&A, if you have more questions for Colleen, we're gonna be breaking out in there soon, but thanks for the overview, that was outstanding. Thanks for all the links. Next up, I just wanna check in with Carly, because we have uh, a message from uh, Jennifer Hodgton from the, about the contributor guide. So with that, we're gonna be playing a video and there's gonna be some audio in there. Uh, we could probably post a video to um in the chat as well amy june 
again, I'm just trying to figure this out. So if, if you're unable to watch it like everybody else here and get the audio, which is what we're going to do our best at to hear Jennifer's message about the contributor guide, uh, there's other ways to watch it later. With that, uh, I'll pause and see if Carly wants to take it away. Can everybody see my screen just fine? See a bunch of heads. No. no. Okay. It says has started screen sharing. So uh, it's all black. It says double click to enter full screen mode. All right. Maybe choose which screen. Let me try again. Any luck there? Can everyone see it now? Uh, same thing. Hmm. Maybe try and play it and let's see. Hi, let's... my name is Jennifer Hodgden. I'm Jay Hodgden on Drupal.org. And I'm nope. sorry. Here. Is I that hear it. You can hear it, but not... you can't see it? Correct. Okay. Well, let's, um, if we want to, let me try to swap over. Um, when we tested it, it worked just fine. So let's. Maybe we can move on to discover Drupal and then I will work on trying to figure out why this video is being That's challenging. Great plan. Uh, you can probably you just stop. Technology. Permissions, darn you. <laughs> Yay, live demos. It is. Oh, I had a quick question. Do, is this working? I tried to share my screen. Yeah, it is actually. That is working, yeah. Oh, huh, okay. Let me make sure I'm piping in sound. Share sound. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, an error occurred. Well. Hi, my name is Jennifer Hodgden. I'm Jay Hodgden on Drupal.org, and I'm sorry I couldn't be here in person, but I've recorded a video for you about the Contributor Guide initiative. The objectives of our initiative were to create a new contributor guide on Drupal.org that would enable new and experienced contributors to find roles and tasks where they could use their skills to contribute to various areas and aspects of the Drupal project. A secondary objective was to reorganize the content that was formerly in the old Getting Involved guide to reduce duplication and improve its organization and navigation. Um, we, ha we had content that would help contributors find tasks and roles to do, but it was uh, pretty scattered and pretty hard to find. The leaders of this initiative are myself, Jay Hodgden, and Rachel Lawson, who's Rachel Norfolk on Drupal.org. And I would like to just acknowledge that we had help from many others in the community who came to meetings, reviewed um, the uh, structure, reviewed content, created content, and many other tasks. So I just appreciate everybody that pitched in to help, and there's still room to help, which I'll be getting to in a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about the structure of the contributor guide. We actually created three new content types on Drupal.org, one called contributor task for a task that a contributor might do, one called contributor role for a longer term role that somebody in the community could fill, and one called contributor skill that describes the skill and how to achieve it. And the skills are used to um, do tasks and uh, fill roles. We also created a number of co contribution area pages um, that was not a new content type. And then we have entity references and views to link them together. The contribution areas are also a taxonomy, which allowed us to do entity references between the um, tasks and areas, roles and areas. And then the tasks are linked to skills, the roles are linked to skills, and the tasks can be linked to roles. And then we have views to link all of those references together. I want to talk briefly about the status of this initiative. The um, contrib contributor guide is basically up on drupal.org. You can find it by going to community and then clicking on com contributor guide in that menu. There are uh, a lot of good, there's a lot of good task content. Um, we could probably use more, but we have quite a few tasks that are good for people with various different types of skills. We have some role content. We probably need more of that. Um, the skill pages, we have a lot of placeholder pages for skills, and some of them have been written. Many of them still need content or editing. And the contribution area pages, 
Again, we have placeholder pages for a lot of areas. They, um, many of the pages need more content, and also many of them need roles to be written up for um, the roles that are related to those contribution areas. And then the design, as you can tell from this presentation, design and graphics are not my strong point. Um, and also probably the uh, contributor guide could use more graphics. All right, I'd like to give you a brief demo of the contributor guide just to show you what's there. Again, if you go to community and then find contributor guide in the menu, the top menu on drupal.org, that's how you can get to the contributor guide. Um, so this is just the landing page for the contributor guide. From here, you can click on browse by task, browse by role, browse by skill, or browse by area, and also in the sidebar you can find these pages. Um, the Role page is a view where you can filter by contribution area, filter by title keyword, and find the various roles that are available. The task page is also a view. Again, you can filter by contribution area. And then um, there are different types of tasks that you can also filter for, and you can filter by title keyword. Um, I just want to show you that briefly the structure of a task all tasks have a goal. They link to the skills that are required for that goal, some background information, which you could read if you didn't have the background information, and then uh, detailed steps on how to do the task. And these should be standalone so that anybody um, who's not familiar with contributing could go ahead and um, uh, use the find a task page and uh, find a task and go ahead and do it. Um, the skills browser is another view. Again, you can. Uh, this one just has a filter by title keyword, and uh, the structure of a skill page, I've got one open here, is that it has a little description at the top, some links to resources to how to improve or um, gain that skill, and then some um, a, a view down at the bottom that shows you roles and tasks that might use that skill. Um, the contribution areas landing page is not very exciting, it's just a list of the areas. Let me just show you briefly one area page. So this is contribute to documentation area. Um, you have a big body that gives you some information about contributing to documentation and then a view that shows you tasks and roles and also skills that could be used in that area. I'd just like to conclude this brief video by explaining how you could help to improve the contributor guide. First thing that you could do is you could um, edit or write skill pages. Um, so we have a temporary task write-up for that if you go to the find a task page and filter to task type temporary, or also you could filter to keyword skill in the title. You can find that write-up about how to do that. Um, second thing that you could do uh, is just try out a task that interests you and see if the steps are clear and they work. If not, you could edit the task or you could use the sidebar link that's on any task page to create an issue. If you have any other suggestions for the contributor guide, um, please create an issue. There's a link on every contributor guide um, page to create an issue in the community section project, and uh, that will bring it to the attention of me and Rachel and anyone else who's reading that issue queue. So thank you very much. I hope to see you soon. Excellent. Again, it's a great thing about the community. Community pulls together to play the video. Uh, thanks so much, Taryn, for doing that. Um, for the Q&A, uh, we're not gonna go into a breakout for uh, uh, the contributor guide. You got a good overview, there's the video, and please connect with Jennifer Hodgson about that. Um, so thanks so much. Uh, we're gonna move on to the Discover Drupal initiative. I believe Allison Manley is going to be talking about that initiative. Yep, hi everybody. Um, I'm Allison and Discover Drupal is the Drupal Association's new initiative to try to unlock opportunities for those who have been upper underrepresented in the open source community. Um, we all know that entering and navigating open source can be confusing and frustrating, particularly for people who don't see themselves in the community already. And of course, we also all know that Drupal and open source by nature has no clear pathway to actually get there. We've all come here from different avenues. Um, there's, there's no school or specific journey 
that one takes to become an employable Drupal person. Um, and you also have to know how to contribute and you have to have the time and frankly, the privilege to do all that. Um, so since there is no one way to approach Drupal, uh, this program, Dr Discover Drupal, is designed to provide a pathway and bridge that gap. So what this initiative does is provides training and scholarships for um, uh, and mentoring from Drupal community members and connections also at the end of the training to potential employers helping those students build their skills and launch some career in open source. So three existing training organizations have collaborated with the Drupal Association to help with the design and the implementation of this. The Drupal Association is acting as the backbone for the program. So as for right now, it's Media Current, Drupal Easy, and Evolving Web that are working on the training and they've helped think through the program design and have provided an incredible amount of insight and support to date. Um, eventually, right now it is limited to North America just for size and scope and trying to get the pilot program off the ground. We are hoping to expand this more globally. Um, currently, the program is going to be open to individuals who are over 18 and identify as a racial minority. We do recognize that marginalization exists for many identities, which all need to be addressed and knowledge. Um, but since racial identity marginalization exists in all the other aspects of intersectionality and is the largest disparity right now that exists in Drupal and open source, this program is just a starting point to help address that. And we hope that it will expand a lot more over time. Um, we could have at the at this point as many as 10 students, but we will likely also possibly be starting smaller since this is the pilot program and we want to make sure that we get it right and it's sustainable for the long term. It will take approximately a year. Um, the students will select from one of three learning pathways, either front end developer, back end developer or site builder. They'll be matched with mentors. They were given supplemental learning tools and a refurbished laptop. So if you have laptops to donate, we will take them. Um, they will complete a final project. And uh, after they go through the training, they'll work on a project. And then hopefully we'll all be joining us in person at the next DrupalCon for free. So that's where money donations come in handy. If you'd like to donate money, we could use those for flights because we hope to all be in person next year. Um, and then there at the next DrupalCon in 2022, uh, we will amplify uh, their journey, help build their network, introduce them to other internship and entry level employment opportunities. Um, so if you are interested in sponsoring, I've mentioned a couple ways. You can reach out to Angie directly, Angie Sabin, who's on this call and her email is drupaltalent at association.org, which I will put in here. And then we also um, have a website that has just been launched in time for DrupalCon, um, if you want to learn more. But we definitely could use refurbished laptops. We could use mentorship. We could just use cash donations. Um, any other opportunity we uh, welcome. So that's Discover Drupal. Awesome. There's some really great things. Uh, I think going into your Q and A, there's can be some really great discussions and help you need to keep pushing that forward. That's all really great overview. So thank you very much. Next up, we are going to talk about Promote Drupal. I believe we have Suzanne Durgacheva to talk about this. Suzanne, take it away. Uh, thanks. Uh, I have slides too, Kaleem. <laughs> Because Promote Drupal is all about making more, more slides. So um, just a quick overview of the Promote Drupal initiative. Um, basically, we're marketers, writers, translators, agency leaders, developers, uh, spreading the word about Drupal and trying to expand um, and get the word out outside the community about Drupal. Um, and really, it's a marketing initiative. Um, for those of you who don't know, there's actually already um, a basis of, you know, a brand for Drupal, um, a video, a pitch deck. So there are some materials that have already been developed as part of this initiative. Um, and we have some ongoing kind of uh, projects that we are slowly making progress on. Um, there's a project to create better content for 
Drupal evaluators. So those are more like the decision makers who come to drupal.org or are um, looking for their first taste of Drupal and trying to figure out if it's a good fit for their project. Um, and we did a survey in the last six months of evaluators and found that they were really looking for more um, more information in, the, in that process, more uh, case studies, more demo sites, and kind of more um, helpful material about certain pain points in the in the process of um, of using Drupal. So they might have heard that Drupal's hard to upgrade, right? And so they they are looking for maybe some material to help convince them otherwise. Um, and so one of the things that um, we are working on is some more evergreen material just to promote Drupal to those people. Um, so for example, there was a one pager that was created when Drupal 9 launched. So converting that into uh, more of an evergreen marketing material that can be used um, for evaluators. There's also a wealth of other material around uh, Drupal marketing that, that's been created um, that needs some love um, and probably needs to be showcased better on Drupal.org and kind of better integrated um, and perhaps updated. I'll, 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 it's very common for this type of thing to go out of date. So we have, um, we have that as an outstanding task as well. Um, also, I know Colleen mentioned onboarding, uh, this onboarding program that the event organizer working group has worked on. Um, and so the Promote Drupal initiative um, has helped out a little bit with creating some personas of people who want to get into Drupal. Um, so these personas are more around the technologists, not the evaluators. So those have been created and this what is Drupal style pitch deck has been created kind of as a, as a, as a piece of content more targeted to that audience. Um, Obviously, it would be great to have these personas as well for the evaluators. Um, and then I also just do a quick shout out to it, this DrupalCon Marketing and Outreach Committee that's been hard at work, um, working with the Drupal Association really closely with um, Carly and, and her team and just getting the word out about DrupalCon. And there's been like a lot of social media work being done, um, email campaigns. And, and that kind of thing. And, and it's just great to see the community coming together and working on this. Um, so there's other um, kind of opportunities to get, there's a lot of opportunity to get involved and promote Drupal right now. We've actually taken some time to define what the oppor volunteer opportunities are. And there's a forum to get involved. So if you have, um, I mean, if you want to get involved or if there's somebody on your team who is looking for a way to contribute to Drupal um, in a non-technical non role, no, no coding kind of role, um, this would be great. We're looking for designers and um, mar uh, marketing people and writers and translators and um, just people with ideas. So that there's some kind of more definition of those roles there as well. Um, and yeah, let's keep growing Drupal. Thanks, Suzanne. I think Andy had some internet trouble, so I'm going to do the last little bit before we go into the separate Q&A rooms. I am wondering if Rachel would like to, Rachel Lawson would like to talk about um, the scholarship mentoring that's going on next week at DrupalCon. Yes, I would, except I switched my camera off. Yeah. <laughs> so next week at DrupalCon, we have, hey, I'm here. We have a lot of people coming for the first time, which is brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got some people in here that are here for the first time already. Now, what we want to do is match up some of those people who are here for the first time with some people who have done this all before. And a lot of those people are you. Does it mean that you need to do anything particularly special? Just say hello, 
be a friendly face, be someone that they can ask questions of, things like, what should I go see? I am a designer. What sessions do you think I should really be seeing? And you can kind of look through the program and go, hey, this person's good, blah, blah, blah. Go see this. It might be that you get to learn about the person and you think, oh, who you need to speak to because they do something really similar to you is um, Amy June or, or Kristen or whoever. And then maybe make, it, maybe, maybe make an introduction. Yeah, and then they can go find people with similar things to them. So we have a program called Scholarship Mentors. We've already had quite a few people sign up to do this, but I'm going to send out the matching emails, matching up scholarship mentors to two or three people who are here for the first time after the end of this summit. So I'm going to post a link in the, um, in the session, in the chat, um, where you can just go in, fill in the form, it asks you a little bit about yourself, your name, that type of stuff. And then you will see an email go to you and two or three of our new people who are coming on scholarships will get you together and you'll get to meet someone new and different and you know completely different to you as a new person in the Drupal community. It's great fun. And I will do an orientation later in the week, uh, answer a few questions. Uh, so watch out for the link, which I'll post after this. Thank you very much.